Alright, so we are going to talk about midline theorem and the median of a trapezoid. So what is the midline theorem? Suppose that we have triangle ABC and XY are the midpoints of sides AB and BC respectively. XY is the segment that joins the midpoints of the sides. What do you think is the relationship of XY and AC? The midline theorem states that the segment that joins the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and the measure is one half the third side. So in our example, triangle ABC, XY is parallel to AC and XY is one half the measure of AC. Let us look at triangle JAM. In triangle JAM, Y and B are the midpoints of AM and JM respectively. Complete the following statements. BY equals what? How about AY? What is BM equal to? So when we look at the midline theorem, we know that BY is what? One half JA. Since we know that Y is the midpoint of AM, AY is equal to what? AY is equal to one half AM. Also, we know that since Y is the midpoint of AM, AY is also equal to MY. Similarly, in the other side, B is the midpoint of JM. Therefore, BM is equal to 1 half JM. Or we can say that BM is equal to JB. Given that in triangle ABC, D and E are the midpoints of AB and BC respectively, fill in the blanks. You may pause the video to answer the following five numbers. Number one, if DE equals 12, then AC equals 24. Number two, if AC equals 42, then DE equals 21. Again, DE is half of AC and AC is twice the measure of DE. Number 3, if AD equals 7, then AB equals 14. If BC equals 36, then BE equals 18. D is the midpoint of AB and E is the midpoint of BC. Therefore, each of AD and DB is half of AB. Similarly, BE or EC is half of BC. In number 5, if BD equals 8 and EC equals 9, then AB plus BC equals 34. That is, AB is 16, EC is 18. When you add, the answer is 34. How about this problem? In triangle FAT, I and H are the midpoints of AT and FT respectively. Solve for X, IH, and FA. If IH equals 3X minus 2 and FA is 9X minus 13. So we are going to solve. We know that IH... is one half F A. So because of the midline theorem, so we substitute IH is given as three X 
minus 2, which is equal to 1 half FA. So that is 1 half 9x minus 13. So to remove the denominator 2, we multiply both sides by 2. So this side and this side. So we multiply this by 2 and we multiply the other side by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6x minus 2 times negative 2 is 4. In this side, since we have 1 half times 2, we can cancel this. And we are left with 9x minus 13. So we transpose 9x to the left side. So we have 6x minus 9x. And then we transpose negative 4 to the other side. So we have negative 13 minus 4 or plus 4 because it is in the other side. So 6x minus 9x is negative um, 3x equals negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9. We divide both sides by negative 3 so as we can um, cancel negative 3. So we have x and negative 9 divided by negative 3 is 3. So we already solved for x. Now we are going to solve for our ih. ih is equal to 3x minus 2. We substitute x equals 3. So we have ih equals 3 times 3 minus 2. So ih now equals 9 minus 2. So ih equals 7. We do the same for FA. So FA is equal to 9x minus 13. And then we substitute x equals 3. So we have FA equals 9 times 3 minus 13. So FA now is 9 times 3 is 27 minus 13. So we have FA equals 14. So we have solved for X, IH, and FA. So we move to the trapezoid. Let us review the trapezoid first before we move on to the median of the trapezoid. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with a pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides are called the bases. The non-parallel sides are called the legs. In quadrilateral HOPE, which is a trapezoid, HO is parallel to EP. Thus, HO and EP are the bases. It follows that EH and OP are the legs. So what is the median of a trapezoid? Suppose that we have quadrilateral A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And it is a trapezoid. Just like the um, example on the last slide. X and Y are the midpoints of the sides A, B, and C, D respectively. XY is the segment that joins the midpoints of the sides. We call it the median of the trapezoid. Other sources um, describe it as the mid-segment of the trapezoid. So the median or mid-segment of a trapezoid is half the sum of the bases. That is... Um, if XY is M, BC is the first base or B1, and AD is the second base or B2, we say that M is equal to one half B1 plus B2. Again, it is half the sum of the bases. That is, in this example, XY equals one half 
BC plus AD. So solve the following given that XY is the median of the given trapezoid. If BC equals 7 and AD equals 11, solve XY. So let us solve. So we know that, again, the median is equal to 1 half base 1 plus base 2. So in this case, the median is xy. 1 half, we just substitute. Base 1 is bc plus base 2 is ad. So we substitute again with the given values. We are looking for xy, so we just write xy. And then we have 1 half, and then BC is given as 7, plus AD is given as 11. So we have XY equals 1 half, 7 plus 11 is 18. But what is 1 half 18? The half of 18 is 9, so XY is 9. So we are done with our solution. Let's look at another problem. If BC equals 5 and XY is 8, solve for AD. Again, the median is equal to 1 half base 1 plus base 2. That is, the median here is XY is equal to 1 half base 1 is BC plus base 2 is AD. We substitute. XY is given as 8. Oops. equals 1 half BC is 5 and we are looking for AD. To remove the denominator, we multiply both sides by 2 because this part here, we cannot um, separate. Okay, so we multiply both sides by 2. 2 times 8 is 16. In the other side, we just um, cancel 1 half and 2. So we have 5 plus AD. We transpose 5 to the other side. We get 16 minus 5 equals AD. 16 minus 5 is 11. 11 equals AD, or we say AD equals 11. So we have our solution. We move to another. So we are down to the last example. If BC equals X plus 2 and XY equals 8 and AD equals 12, solve for X. We already know that the median is equal to one-half the sum of the bases. That is, M is equal to one-half B sub 1 plus B sub 2. And the median here is XY equals one-half base 1 is BC plus base 2 is AD. So XY is given, which is 8 equals 1 half, BC is given as X plus 2, and AD is given as 12. We simplify the expression inside the parentheses first. 8 equals 1 half, and then we have X plus 2 plus 12, so that is X plus, okay, we combine like terms, 2 plus 12 is 14. To remove the denominator 2 in 1 half, we multiply both sides by 2. So this becomes 16 equals 1 half and 2 is um, cancelled. We have x 
plus 14. We transpose 14 to the other side. We get 16 minus 14 equals x. Therefore, 16 minus 14 is 2 equals x, or we say x equals 2. If we're going to um, check BC is equal to x plus 2, so that is equal to, since we know that um, x is 2, is 2 plus 2, which is 4. So we have 4, and then AD is 12, and then XY is 8. If we're going to add 4 plus 12, this is 16. Divided by 2, we get 8. So we know that our answer is correct.